Hey, hey, folks, Seducium here. I'm back playing some Hearthstone Arena. We're playing as a shaman. We're 4 and 1. We're doing all right. We'll see if we can break the unfortunate four wins barrier that I seem to kind of hit up against most of the time. And maybe go for five wins. So we'll see. Come on. Get me an opponent, but not a tough opponent, and not, not even a worthy Roll opponent. Another hunter. So this is hunter number three or four I'm playing against, I'm not quite sure. I've played against a lot of hunters, and I get a bunch of cards that I do not want. So I'm getting rid of the Fire Elemental, the Ventricle Mercenary, and the Lord of the Arena. A six mana card, a five mana card, and a six mana card. I am going to keep the Rockbiter weapon, it's one mana. It gives uh, any friendly character plus three, so it could be me. could be one of my totems or one of my minions. Oh crap, and I get more stuff I can't play. Sentient Shield Master is four mana, Grubash Berserker is five, War Golem seven. Can't play any of those things early on, which really sucks. So I'm here is hoping that my card that I draw right now is something I can at least play. Turn two, Quark Lightning, no. Not good. Uh, not bad, because at least I can keep the board kind of clear. Uh, let's say greetings. greetings he didn't say hi to me. Airwolf Alpha? Alright. Fair enough. Um, I am going to summon a totem. You know what? Yeah. I'm going to summon a totem. I might take some damage from him, but that's okay. A Wrath of Air totem. I seem to be getting that often. So here's what I would like to see happen. He summons another creature, Timberwolf. Buffs up his Direwolf Alpha. Scavenging Hyena. That's good, because what I can do... I can do two things. One thing, Rockbiter Weapon on myself. Kill the Scavenging Hyena. Guide me. Take three damage. That's all right. Can't let that live. Then we cast Fork Lightning. And we kill off his other two creatures. And bam. Unfortunately, that leaves me with only two mana for next turn. Three if I want to use a coin. But, summons a Twilight Drake. It's not too powerful. I like it. I am going to take another hit, but that's okay. I'm going to summon a totem. Maybe it's a taunt totem. It's not. Oh well. So, now that I'm turn five, I can start summoning things like my Garabashi Berserker and other stuff. He's still attacking me directly, which is a little annoying. Uh, you know what? Coin, Arjun Commander. I'm going to take out the Azure uh, Drake, and I'm actually going to kill the Totem off, and I'll tell you why. This way he can't cast uh, Multi-Shot. If he had Multi-Shot in his hand, he needs two creatures on the board. He might not have Multi-Shot for all I know. Sunburden's a Timberwolf and Arcane Shot, which will do it, unfortunately. But that's okay. And I'm going to take more damage, which sucks. I'm at 17. He's still at 30, but he is going through his cards mighty quick. Um, so I think we have to summon a little taunt. Another totem, another Wrath of Air totem. And here's hoping he doesn't have multi-shot. Won't kill my uh, Sengen Shield Master, but we'll make it easier for him to kill. Kill command, damn. He's gonna kill my Sengen Shield Master with kill command and steady shot. I'm taking way too much damage here. I don't have a good, great way of clearing this. Um, but here we go, Flame Tongue Totem. Makes that two. Shattered Sun Cleric will make this. We must cleanse the sun well. Nope, I'm doing this wrong. Gotta play the Shattered Sun Cleric on this side. We must cleanse the sun well. And buff up my totem here. Make it a three-three. Take out his damn freezing trap. I thank you. Don't I get to summon another Wrath of Air totem. I'm gonna actually have two of them. Unfortunately, this might actually end up killing me because all he has to do is hit me for five and then he can just whittle me down. But instead, he kills that. Well, isn't that interesting? I don't have a good way of clearing out his giant, though. 
I don't have... Argent Defender would have been exactly what I needed. Let's hope. We're going to use Gilmisham Enter, get a card. Yes. It is exactly what I need. So, Argent Defender here. Buys me a turn. Push forward. That. Kills that. And I have a little bit of breathing room. Not much. But... He can still whittle me down well just played. using his, uh, damn, kill command. He could have just, yeah, he could have killed me a number of ways. Could have used kill command on me, I'm in hero ability, and that would have done it. Damn, all right. That was a well-played game. I'm kind of bitter because RNG screwed me in the beginning there. If I got cards I could play earlier on, it might have been completely different. But, you know, live by the RNG, die by the RNG, I guess. So let's see if we can do better than that in this game. I'm at two losses, four wins, but I'm going to keep playing now that I'm at two losses because uh, I don't like breaking up these episodes when... I could just have a one episode hand. So. We're playing Bubble Boy. You asked for it. Mage. For Doomhammer. So hopefully. I'm going first, which I don't like. I'm going to get rid of Twilight Drake. Get rid of Nomashim Enter. And I'm actually going to get rid of the Manatide Totem. Because I'd rather have stuff I could play. If I play the Manatide Totem too early. Unfortunately, again, I didn't get crap I could play early. If I play the Manatide Totem too early, it's just going to die to a Frostbolt or whatever. No point. So, it doesn't do me good, any good early on. This sucks. Because once again, I don't have anything I can play early. I could play my Flesh Eating Ghoul turn 3. But again, probably going to die to a Frostbolt. What do you have? Two mana he's gonna coin into Fairy Dragon. Yep. So if I play Fleshy and Ghoul there, it'll die. Ooh, the Fairy Dragon, fair enough. And I get a Dark Iron Dwarf. Luckily I get a Taunt Totem, but doesn't help. Dark Iron Dwarf isn't gonna help right now. Yeah, this isn't great. This combination, especially against the mage where they tend to rush you down in order to fireball. Pyroblast and so on. Same with Hunters. Against the aggro decks, you want to be able to play stuff early. You can't hold off into the late game because then you have way too much damage and way too much control. So, uh, what the hell is my opponent doing? He's just kind of sitting there not doing anything. And I'm just... Okay. Come on. Thanks. I thank you. I wonder. Go. Bubble Boy... You can do it. You're not in the bubble anymore. You can go. Please. Okay. So once again, nothing good. I might as well play the ghoul. I'm not going to save my cards. Don't want to end up suffering from too good to you syndrome, even if he does have a frostbolt. Hopefully he does not. But the chances are pretty good that he does. There it is. Take four damage. Oh well, alright, so here's Gnomish Adventure, hoping for more cards I can actually play. Not great, but at least it's something. What's my opponent gonna do for four mana? What to do? What to do? <clears throat> what to do? What to do? I'm just gonna hit my Nomisha Mentor with his hero bullet. Untrade. His Drake, I guess. Alright, I mean, it's basically what I was gonna do. Actually, I was gonna, I was hoping to cast Windspeaker. And uh, use Wind Speaker to give it uh, Wind Fury and then take both of his cards out. Didn't happen. It's alright. We'll play over Magi. Whatever good that'll do me.
Come on, let me do something. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't mean to cough near the mic, but sometimes cannot be helped. Now, what are you gonna cast? Stormpike Commando, okay. He's gonna hit me directly, alright. And do that. Isn't that interesting? Uh, we are gonna summon ourselves a Fire Elemental. We're gonna kill a Stormpike Commando with the Fire Elemental, which does three damage to whatever we want. And then I will just hit him directly. I'm ignoring the pirate. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. That's a one-two. And right now I don't have any weapons, so it doesn't matter. Now, if my Elemental can live, I would love to give a Wind Fury, but if not, I'm okay with giving the Stormpike, the, not Stormpike, the Ogre Magi Wind Fury. He summons an Archmage, which is perfectly okay with me. Um, what I'm gonna do is give this thing Wind Fury, and it looks like he's setting me up for a uh, Flame Strike, which kind of stinks. And I should probably take out the Archmage. Just in case he does have a Flame Strike. You know what? Screw it. Just summon a totem. Not putting more stuff out there in case he does have Flame Strike. And this way he'll have a choice. Does he want to flame strike and clear the board? Or does he want to hit me and maybe summon more stuff? I'm hoping he summons what more to stuff. Do? What to do? Don't do it. Don't flame strike. Yes. Perfect. because I can clear the board next time. Um, so, two to three. Hmm. How do I want to clear the board? Hmm. <laughs> that. Do that. Alright. So I cleared his board. I still have, I have a card advantage. I have a slight health advantage. It could change quickly enough, but I'm hoping. And I have a board advantage, so I'm hoping that this is enough. I used the Dark Iron Dwarf. I buffed up the Windspeaker. Took out his Frost Elemental. I took out his wonder. Mage with my Totem. Now what? You have five cards, so do something. I wonder. But don't flame strike. I got the best deal Bad for your health. Anywhere. Plays a secret. Don't like that. Let's see if it's a mirror entity. I'm gonna cast the Cobalt no, Geomancer. No. It's not a mirror entity. Three to four damage. Let's see if I get a wind speaker totem. I do. All right. This could be a counter spell. Is it dumb to do this? Yes. I don't want him to get card draw. Not a counter spell. Could be a vaporize. Is it a vaporize? It's not a vaporize. Please um, spellbender. Or, um, there's the flame strike. Or, um, whatchamacallit? Uh, Spellbender, or he can uh, get one extra turn when he's about to die. So, it's one of those. 
I'm actually happy about that flame strike because next turn I'll have eight mana. I'll summon Sengen Shield Master, Dragonling Mechanic, get a bunch of cards. Maybe I'll do Sengen Shield Master, mm. Harvest Golem. I don't know. A lot of possibilities. He only has two mana, so either use your hero ability or summon a two mana creature. Come on. I'll have to take forever. Hmm. All right. You win in testing my patience, Bubble Boy. <laughs> time runs out on me. Hopefully, I hope you run out of time. <laughs> so that way you only get 15 seconds next turn. There you go, Acidic Swamp Boost. Thank you. You did something. Uh, speaking of which, let's cast uh, that then. We'll do this and summon ourselves a totem. And we'll take that out directly. Perfect. All right. So he played his Swampoos, and that's when I played my weapon. It was more just luck because I didn't know that I was going to draw a weapon, nor did he know that I had a weapon. All right, so he's got four cards, 12 health. I have 19 health. I have Taunt, Sentient Shield Master uh, on the board, plus my Totem, which with Bloodlust I could do six and four, right? So I could do uh, 10 damage, 12 damage. I have enough to kill him next turn, although he probably has I the wonder. stop him from killing magic thing, uh, which kind of sucks. But I am willing to try. So unless he gets a taunt, I'm either going to kill him or come damn close to it. What leaving to him at do? about 2 HP. What to do? Come on. The elements will destroy. I'm going to threaten him. This time's about to run out. It's taking forever. Arcane Explosion, that sucks. Another secret. Alright, Arcane Explosion kind of sucks a lot. Alright, let's test these secrets first things first. We're gonna hit him. Okay, so it's not that. Uh, what do I want to give him more? I'm gonna do the Dragon Limb Mechanic because he doesn't get the battle cry. Okay. There it is, Mirror Entity. I'm fine with that. I'm going to summon a totem. And I'm going to... Screw it. I'm going to rock bite a weapon on myself and just hit him. Because I'm getting sick of his face. So. <laughs> I just want him to go and not take forever. He's got 10 mana. I mean, come on. Gotta be able to do something with ten mana. What to do? What to Just do? Just don't have another flame strike, because that would really seriously ruin my day. Damn it! <laughs> what did I say about having another flame strike? You played that completely wrong. You played the flesh eating ghoul after he killed everything. I'm fine with it though, if he wants to. Do that. Uh, Harvest Golem. Uh, flesh Eating Ghoul. I'm gonna hit him for two more, because why not? And if I have enough stuff alive on the board, I might be able to kill him soon. Are you ready for this? Summons another Archmage. He's got four more mana. He's attacking me directly. I hope he doesn't have Pyroblast. He might. That's probably what he's aiming for. Kind of stinks. Uh, let's find out first things first. I'm gonna rock bite a weapon on me. Elements guide me. I hit him directly. Guide me. And the secret triggers. Please be a taunt totem. Or not. That sucks. Uh, 
I did that wrong too. Screw it. We use Bloodless here. To kill off the ghoul. So I hope he doesn't have Pyroblast because that'll be really shitty. I don't think he... Yeah, he probably does actually. We'll find out in a sec. I'm no, he doesn't, because he would have cast it. Makes sense, he does have Polymorph. Not good enough. <laughs> He's gonna die to a couple of 1-1s. Um, sure, I'm gonna cast Fork Lightning just out of spite. He's taking forever to go. And then I'm gonna kill him with my 1-1s. Well Say well played. So, I'm actually very happy I beat him, because <laughs> I hate playing against people that take, you know, a day and a half to make a move, especially, I, I can understand when you have five, six, seven cards in your hand, and you have a bunch of combinations you can do, when you have like three cards in your hand, and you're taking 90 seconds to decide what you're going to do, you're doing that on purpose, you're either distracted and trying to do something else while playing, which is not fair to the other person, or you're being an ass on purpose and just trying to drag it out because you know you're going to lose, which is also not fair to the other person. So I really hate people that do that. Now, um, because I'm going second, I'll keep the Mana Tide Totem. I'm definitely keeping the Lightning Storm. It's great. And Cobalt Geomancer is pretty good, too. Where are we going against the Druid? All right. Um, you know what? I'm going to coin into the Cobalt, Cobalt Geomancer. Maybe a waste of a coin, but here's my thinking. Coin, this turn into Cobalt Geomancer, next turn Totem, turn 3 Shatter Sun Clark. Hey, I hope so. You like my invention. so he gets a card. That is fine. Let's see what kind of Totem we get. Actually, Razorfin Hunter is probably better than a Totem. We'll kill that. The only reason I'm killing that is because he's gonna kill it anyways. I probably should have done damage to him directly. That was my mistake. Oh well. I should know better, actually. It's better to do two damage to my opponent than uh, to clear out a 1-1 for the most part. I guess he could have buffed it up, so it could have been worse. Now he doesn't have anything to buff up. He does have Mark of Nature potential, and I forced him basically into using hero ability and killing that. Okay, good. Uh, now we do Shatter Sun. Actually, I think I'm gonna do the Ghoul. Because I'd rather actually cast Shatter Sun Cleric on the Ghoul, and if I can keep that Ghoul buffed, that'll be really good for everyone. Let's hope he doesn't have uh, Wrath. Nope, he casts Wild Growth. Gives himself more mana. And another wild growth. Good for him. He's going to have a ton of mana. But before that happens, he's going to take a bunch of damage. Um, I'm actually going to cast Shatter Sun Cleric on the ghoul. We must cleanse the sun well. Simply help make sure it lives. As much as I would have liked to play Iron, Dark Iron Dwarf and just get an extra attack in, um, I would have been able to do one extra damage, but that would have been temporary. There's the swipe. He's going to kill the ghoul. But everything else survives with one life, and he's going to use his hero ability and kill something. Killed the raptor. I would have killed the clerk in case I had a way to bounce it back. But that's fine. Whatever he wants to do, it's fine with me. Uh, as much as I'd like to summon the Manatide Totem, I think I'm going to do Dark Iron Dwarf. And hit him for five. And leave things at that. Let's have a, six cards to my four plus two on the board. But I've got him at 13 life, and that's not terrible. I'm afraid he might play a Dark Iron uh, Defender or an Iron Bark Defender, in which case it's going to be pretty much everything I have to kill it. Well, Argent Commander, Dark Iron Dwarf would do it. Just be a pain in the ass. 
Nope, he's gonna nourish. So he's gonna draw two more cards. Three more cards, really? When I'm doing so much damage to you. This is where card draw, his nicest card draw is sometimes. Other times it's just completely pointless when I'm getting this much damage. He does summon a Molten Giant, which is annoying. I can kill that Molten Giant if I want to, but I'm thinking I'd rather the or the arena and actually just hit him. He might be able to kill my Lord of the Arena, something like a Starfire, whatever. The one that lets him do 5 damage. Maybe he doesn't have it. Here's hoping. Mark of Nature. He's going to give it plus 4 health and taunt, which is really, really annoying. And there's the Starfire. She also gets him a card. Oh. So that's pretty good. How am I going to compete with that? I can hit it for three, plus four. I could hope I get the right totem. It should be not the right totem. Let's hope I get a decent card. I'm just going to hit it for eight. Flame Tongue Totem would help if that stuff lives. Uh, yeah. Right now, it's not looking great for me. Put this apple on your head. Knife juggler, which might take out my totems or some of them at least. He's gonna take out that totem with a swipe. And a of swamp boost takes that out. Mind if I roll need? Well, this isn't good. Looks like I have to. I would like to do this. If I do this, that leaves me with five mana. Not enough. Mm -hmm. Alright, it's gonna be close, but I have to. Do that. I should have done flame. T I should have summoned the totem first, because I could have done one extra damage to the giant, been one step closer to killing it. If I live a turn, I can Argent Commander, but it doesn't look like I'm gonna. Well, you know, I might live a turn. And hope Ragnaros doesn't hit me. That's all I can do. Basically. Where shall I Alright, I'm dead. He's got charge. He's Why? Why did you taunt when you have charge? You could have killed me. Let the pain. Sounds an acolyte of pain. And he hits me for one. That's interesting. Ragnaros takes out my totem. Well, now that I have a bit of a chance, let's do this. Hit that. Summon My seal this to give me taunt. Victory or death. Kill that. Maybe I should have kept it alive because then I would have had one more chance, but he could have killed it anyways. And hope that Ragnaros hits the other creature. He could have killed me. He didn't. He still can, I'm sure, if he has swipe or anything that deals one damage. But Here's hoping he kind of screwed himself hmm. by not killing me when he had the opportunity. Right. 
Because depending on RNG, if Ragnaros hits the wrong thing, I could actually kill him. My, with Wind Fury, potentially. Pass me that arc light spanner. Okay, he's out of cards. Please, Ragnaros, hit the wrong thing. Alright, I've lost. It was a worthwhile attempt, but there's nothing I can do. If Rag had hit Defender of Argus, I would have Wind Furyed that thing and won. That's not gonna help me. Although, still, not really gonna help me. Yep. Well played. You win this. Damn you, Ragnaros. Wish I had Ragnaros. I get uh legends so rarely, but I guess I'm sure everybody does too. Alright, so we won five games, not too bad. Not as good as I would have liked. Fifty-five gold a deck. 60, so 105 gold and a pack. And what's in the pack? Shall we see? We get an epic. Another Blood Knight. That's actually awesome. I, should, I meant to do this. Hover over the cards to see if I get anything cool. Rare, Nourish, no thanks. And Starfall, no thanks. Uh, Blood Knight is good because I only have one right now and I wanted to make... An all uh, Divine Shield Paladin deck, and this is going to help me towards that, or Divine Shield Paladin deck, so that's pretty cool. All right, well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And as always, my name is Adusia. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope you keep on watching, because I'm going to be playing a lot more Hearthstone Arena in the near future. But until then, I'll see you guys later.